Hi, Emma Pass here, and I'm talking about the whiteboard I'm planning to use as an alternative to Jamboard. Very sad Jamboard's going away. I use it for a ton of stuff, and there's no perfect solution, especially when it comes to transferring all of your current Jamboards somewhere else easily. But for me, I think Canva is my solution um, because I'm already using it a lot. Canva has a free account for educators. Um, so just Google Canva for education, and you can get your school email verified. You can use all their premium features for free. It's fantastic. Um, I'm using it a lot for like my presentations and a lot of the materials I'm creating for students. I'm having students use it to create projects. Um, and I like to have everything kind of centralized in one location. So although it's not the perfect whiteboard, those are the reasons I am using Canva. When you log on and you are on your dashboard like this, you'll see there's a whiteboard right up top. That icon will get you to a bunch of different templates. This is a great thing about Canva. They have tons and tons of pre-created templates for you and have an educator's library where you can start using stuff that other educators have created. Or you can just create a blank one um, on the left-hand side. Once it loads, if you've ever created anything on Canva before, you'll see, oh, it looks like anything else I make in Canva, um, which is a good thing because, again, all your students will be very familiar with the features and, um, and kind of know what is possible here. So you can start with a blank board. It is an infinite scroll. So if I keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, I'll still be on the same board. Might be a good thing, might be a terrible thing for some students. It also has a zoom feature. So you can zoom out and you can zoom in, uh, kind of depending on what you're looking at. That's kind of important to know too for this elements button all the way over on that left hand side, second button down. You'll see elements. This is where you're going to get your sticky notes, which is my most important feature in Jamboard, or shapes or images. Um, when you click a sticky note onto the whiteboard, I like to kind of adjust the size, the zoom in percentage based on the size of the sticky note. So I've noticed around 40-ish percent gets me to kind of the same size sticky note as I use on Jamboard, if that makes sense. Let's go back to the column on the left hand side and start with templates. Um, as I said, Canva has a lot of pre-created templates and you can search for something here. So if you are looking for a Venn diagram, you'll see there's a bunch of options or maybe a KWL chart here. Um, you can just click to insert that onto the whiteboard and then you can edit the individual elements. One of the features that I like about Jamboard is being able to upload your own backgrounds. Um, in Canva, you would go to Uploads. These are all from Google Slides that I had created on Google Slides and I'd uploaded to a Jamboard. So here's my version of a Venn diagram that I've used before. Got to zoom back in. And to use this as a background, drop on Canva, um, the difference is going to be you just want to lock it. So you would right click and then click this lock, lock into position. So your students wouldn't be able to move that around. Then we can go back to elements and we can put those sticky notes onto our Venn diagram. Or you can use some of the other features that are similar to Jamboard. Back in our left hand column, you can go down to draw and you see you have your pen tools and your marker tools, and your eraser tools, um, your pointer tools. So again, it's going to do everything that Jamboard does. It's not as simple. It's not as intuitive. And you will have to do that manual kind of like downloading and uploading um, onto Canva to get it all transferred over. When you're ready to share it with students, again, it will look a lot like Google. On the top right hand side, you have share. If you want to collaborate with your whole class, if like your whole class is adding an item to this Venn diagram, you're going to do anyone with the link can edit and you'll copy that link and put it on your Google Classroom or your LMS. If you want all of your students to be able to have their own copy, you'll go down to the assignment button. You'll go to Google Classroom and select new design for each student. So that's that make a copy feature. Um, and then you would publish it there to your Google Classroom. 
those are the basics. Uh, let me know what you think and I hope Canva works for you.